when you want the truth, and when you want the facts, you better watch no filter, because I got your back, ain't no ducking, ain't no dodging, ain't no scheming, ain't no hiding, cause I got that work, you wanna get this work, you wanna get this work, you about to get this work. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to No Filter News and Talk. And it's your girl, Ingrid. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling out there? Listen, I got the best subs in the whole wide world. And I want you guys to make sure you like, share, subscribe, put your thinking cap on, hit the notification bell, and come on over because we will welcome you with open arms. Listen, to, I got the best subs in the whole wide world. That's just it, point blank, and the period. Um... If you're rocking with me, you're rocking with nothing but the best. I'm serious. And I might not. I see I see all of my subs. I see you guys commenting, emailing. And I might can't respond like I want to. But I see you and I appreciate you. Now listen, family. We need to talk. We need to talk. And now, this video that I'm about to show y'all is heartbreaking. And I want to say R.I.P to the doctor who passed away now this doctor was saying that she wasn't receiving adequate care at a at a hospital i'm not sure if she was still practicing but i think so because i think they said she wasn't nothing but 53 so i'm not sure but she's a doctor she was a doctor but she passed away so i want you guys to watch this and then i'm gonna give y'all my input and they don't know how to fight for themselves Dr. Bannock, B A N N E C, wanted to send me home. You know, at that time, I'd only received two treatments of the Rendezvous. He said, Ah, oh, you don't need it. You're not even short of breath. I said, Yes, I am. Then he went on to say, you don't qualify for myself because um, I've gotten two treatments. And then he further stated, you should just go home right now. And I don't feel comfortable giving you any more narcotics. The other thing that that white Dr. Bannock said was that if I stayed, that he would send me home Saturday at 10 p.m. in the dark. Who does that? I was crushed. He made me feel like I was a drug addict. And he knew I was a physician. So I started asking, send me to another hospital where they can treat me. And if they're not going to treat me here properly, send me to another hospital. I put forward and I maintained. If I was white, I wouldn't have to go through that. And that man never came back and apologized. This Dr. Bannock guy. And then today now, supposed to be getting the narcotics, right? They came in nine o'clock. I've been in pain since seven when they came in. Very, very sympathetic. Uh, yeah, we will get you pain medicine. I don't want to give you IV narcotics. How about PO? Fine. I just want my pain to end. It was another two and a half hours before I got the pain medicine. The nurse came in. The first thing I said to that nurse was, why did I have to wait for so long? The nurse snapped back. Well, you're not my only patient. I have five other patients, you know. I am a patient. Are you going to take care of me or not? And he went in. Now, that is not how you treat patients. Period. This is how black people get killed. When you send them home and they don't know how to fight for themselves. I had to talk to somebody, maybe the media, somebody, to let people know how I'm being treated up in this place. 
And he gladly told me, I know you're a doctor. So he didn't want the black doctor to have no medicine, nothing. And then had the nerve to say, it's because of him, the nurse, that I got the medicine. Really? Because of you? To being black up in here, this is what happens. Okay, y'all saw that video, right? Heartbreaking, sad. The list goes on and on. It, it really makes you angry. But here's the thing. How do we fight? How do we fight? A lot of people talk, but nobody's bringing solutions. How In a situation like that, how do you fight? First of all, I'm not arguing with no doctor or no nurse or nobody. I'm not arguing with you if I'm in a position where, you know, I, I'm just not arguing with you because I'm on your playing field. I'm on your court. You understand? And I'm just saying, that's not, I, 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 I just, I don't understand that because, okay, the reason why I say this is because you're down, you're in a hospital bed. I mean, these people have your meds. They got the power at this point. They got the little power at this point. So they can play these games. Come on, somebody. They can not bring you your medicine, not bring you no food. You don't know what they, what kind of medicine they could be giving you. Um, they can play these games. So you don't sit there and go toe-to-toe -to -toe and argue with them. For number one, if you feel like you're not getting adequate care, proper care, get out of there. That's just get out of there. No if, ands, buts about it. I don't know if she didn't have no family. That should have been the first call. Come and get me. Come and get me. I don't care about uh, what they're saying. Because you got to get me out of here. That should have been the call to my loved ones. Come get me out of here. I'm not, because I'm not, I can't, I can't make you. I can't sit up here and make you, uh. I can't make you take care of me. I can't make you treat me with respect and kindness. I can't make you give me my medicine. Now, I could talk. It's people ahead of these people. I would have talked, asked to speak with a nurse, a, a charge nurse, a head nurse, a head doctor. I would have asked to speak with people who was in charge. Okay? If I didn't get that, I would have been on my way out the door. With everything inside of me, I would have pushed the call button and told them, send me my discharge papers. I am leaving. The doctor already wanted to send her home. These people are not caring about you. They're not giving you the proper care. Get out of there. That's number one. That's important. That's just like if she was dealing with a police officer in the same situation you're on their turf you don't sit there and argue with a cop back and forth at this point you know yes yes because guess what the ultimate goal is for you to go home the goal is for you to be alive you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna go back and forth with you and you got my meds basically my life is in your hands I mean, you think i'm gonna argue with you and tell you if i was white this that and the third we can't do that. We that's not how we fight people. I would have been um, you know, so kind. Be you know, I'm just saying you you know they doing you dirty. So, only thing you could do now is just play their game. You understand? But let me tell y'all, check on your loved ones. People that's going to the doctor, going to the hospital, people that's got this stuff and they going to these places Go check on your loved ones. And, and you know, make sure they straight. This is ridiculous. This is really sad. And I'm not blaming her at all. But And I know that. We know the game that they play. We know that they can be dirty. Not all of them. Because you can find, let me tell y'all. You can find some black ones that's dirty. 
Don't come in there. Don't give you your medicine. You can find something like that. Nasty. Because they they uh they 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 are stressed out. Um even before the big C even hit. A lot of these hospitals was already doctors and these nurses was already stressed out. They had a shift. They had a whole bunch of patients and they was trying to get through their shift. You know, they rush and they come in there. They they not even friendly at all. They hey, how you doing? They getting through their shift, name, date of birth. They scan you, giving you your stuff. Next thing you know, they gone because they got so many other patients. This is before the big C even hit. And I'm going to tell you, I know for a fact. So, I'm saying we got to know how to fight. When you are on the enemy's turf, when you are on the, in, on the enemy ground, you got to know how to fight. You know, get out of there. You don't stay there and demand to be treated with respect. They're not going to treat you with respect. At this point, they looking at you. Si they already intimidated that you are a doctor. So now they feel like you're going to be critiquing their job. You know what I'm saying? So you to tell them, well, I did this and I did that. The people don't want to hear that. They already feeling some type of way. So, yeah, I'm just, it's heartbreaking. Um, and if some more come out of, of this story, I would definitely cover it. But right now, from what I got from what, the video that she said, yeah, that's just, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot. And unfortunately, it's a lot of people that's going to find themselves in that type of situation. It's a lot of people. A lot of people find themselves in this, in that situation. She, you heard what she said that the nurse told her. You're not my only patient. I got five other patients. Right. Being rude, being nasty, all that. All she wanted was some pain meds. The pain meds probably would have knocked her out. And she wouldn't even been complaining no more. I get it. But they didn't even want to give her that. See? So you get out of there. You get out of there. And if you a doctor, if push came to shove, baby, I mean, did you, I, I just want to know more information because if it was all like that, I wonder why she never treated herself at home. You know, I mean, right, if push come to shove, write yourself a script and go get your script and treat yourself at home. If you could. You know, if you could, and, and maybe she was just too weak or whatever, but this is why we it's important for us to have people in our corner. Always check on your people, and, you know, that's, that is just too bad. But I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if she was still practicing medicine or not, but let me run in this store because I'm last-minute Christmas shopping as usual, so... <laughs> So I'm about to run in here, but I just had to bring y'all this video because it was just given to me. And big shout out to my sub who had sent me that video. I got to, you're going to have to tell me how to pronounce your name better so I can give you a better shout out because I can't pronounce it. But big shout out to you. I appreciate you so much. You always send me that good literature and I appreciate it. All of those, I mean, like for real. And I, I get that a lot from a lot of my subs, but this, this person is so consistent and I just, I appreciate it, you know, because people just don't have to. People don't have to show me love. And I love y'all. And Merry Christmas. <laughs> Bye, y'all.